Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use batches in Attack ERP. In order to enable the settings, you need to go to the module settings. In general, we can enable the option called batch over here. And then just click OK. And then you can go to the accounting inventory masters and then you can choose the batch option over here. So in order to add batch for a particular product, you need to create the product in the first place and then you can choose the same product over here. So the batch code will be created over here. You can enter the batch name. In this case, I'm going to create as um, batch1. You can provide additional description as for any further details. If this is a, um, a diary-based product or expiry-based product, then you can set the manufacturing date and expiry date for the same as well. And then you can change the purchase rate over here. For this case, I'm going to change the purchase rate from 1000 of the default price to 1500 as the new batch price. And then the 2000 or sale rate of the product, particular product to 2500. And you can also change the MRP minimum sale rate and also the barcode if you want to. So in this case, uh, I'm going to enter the barcode as 123 for as an example. And then just click save. So if you enter this particular barcode in the sales invoice, then the rate of the particular product will increase from 2000 to 2500. So I'll just enter 1234 and just click enter so that the batch 1 is selected over here. And if there is another other batches, you can also select those batches and the rate will all, all also change based on the same. And uh, you can change it to the default if you want to. Just like that, uh, uh, the batches can be mentioned in the sales invoice and also in the purchase invoice. And you can also uh, check the reports for those batches from the checklist reports under masters and you can choose the batch option and you can filter all the batches based on product group and all the batches as well and you can also uh, set remind batch reminders if there is an expiry based product then you can also enable the reminders for the batches as well and you can also go to the reports and the inventory and you can go to stock list you can specify the batch name and etc over here the stock list report so that you can preview the same based on the uh, batches just like that you can specify the batch one you can check the amount of sales based on this particular batch etc like that so thank you for watching and have a great day